Michael Walt, let a mess Johnson in. Or is it loud or is it not loud? I got it. Hello. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Umwokwo Popo. Umwokwo Popo. Yes, okay. And, uh, and who is this? My second husband. Who is dead? <laughs> you want to join him? Well, he is your husband, so you are the one who should join in. Till death do you part. Ah! Oh. Well, you two are my husband, so if I die, I will take you with me. Ah uh ah, -uh. rubbish. <laughs> I'm sorry, Uncle. Let me just get this straight. These two are your husbands. Uh. But he is dead. Mm, ask my wife how her husband died. I told you, I pushed him down these stairs by accident. But we don't have stairs. That is not my problem. Please, Mr. and Mrs. Um, 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 yes. This is a therapy session. Shouldn't he be in a morgue? Yeah, but we came here to sort out our problems. That's why I brought him. He is the problem. <laughs> Leave him alone. He is still my little hedgehog. Well, your little hedgehog now sleeps with the fishes. <laughs> then you two should sleep with the fishes. Mm. Piranha and shark. Yeah. <laughs> Look at your little fish mouth. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to catch the worm? This one's a cool one to make you laugh. So you to get the nana, and now you send it over there. Okay. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I sincerely hope not. This is a completely different style to the one I asked for. No, you said you wanted a short bob. I know what I want, and this isn't it. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> What's the problem? This. Cretin of a stylist has cut my hair too short. I showed her the length before I started cutting and she agreed. Well, now I'm changing my mind. So I suggest you stop talking and start doing something about it. Make it longer. But we can't. Make it longer! <laughs> we can cut the sides so that the back looks longer. <laughs> stop pulling my hair in, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's annoying. He, uh, he's, uh, he's a bleeding. Oh. Oh. Don't believe me right now. <laughs> oh. Two minutes. Two, two minutes. God's sake. <laughs> 
Taking place? No, no, not this service, just the reception. Uh, and where is the reception being held? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, yeah, no, no, that's no problem. Yes, take care. Them say the reception is for family and close friends, but we can come to this service. For what? To sing him and drink saliva? <laughs> I'm going to go to dancing shows. Let me have a plan. Okay. I wanted to face that that way. Oh, don't break it. Don't break it with. <laughs> You're a stupid cow. <laughs> Good luck with the charity. Yes. Hmm? Berlin, you do save me. I do sweet. You want to win our cat. Give me four. But not the foot wing, not like that. We're about to sing a song to raise spirits. Would you like to? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and this solemn day, let us remember Sandra, who is no longer with us. And celebrate Sandra's life with a song she used to listen to every day. Who let the dog She was deaf. <laughs> Who are you? Call us the life lovers. Yeah. Let the dead die and let the living just live. <laughs> Now then, hmm. I got to Mrs. Johnson, none of them. I got to Mrs. Johnson. Yeah, join the video. Alright, Mrs. Johnson and none of them. And, uh, which one's better for you? Uh, Donovan and Mrs. Johnson and church. Jesus said to his disciples. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If they were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place. <laughs> Mr. Johnson. Donovan. Mrs. Johnson, what a lovely service. It's not finished yet, Donovan. No, but look. <clears throat> I've been thinking. Ways about single available people with needs and desires and requirements. <laughs> Don't put our cards on the table. We will see. But I is a man. You is a woman. I is a bull. You is a cow. I is a bear. Uh... A female beer. It's time for a spot of hibernation. 
<laughs> Put it another way. Fate has thrown us together. Who are we to fight fate? I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. I'm the heavyweight champion of love. I am Muhammad Ali. You are George Foreman. I'll scratch my back and I'll run the mixture of jasmine, lavender, and bijouju heil. And I'll rub and rub and rub. <laughs> it's all right, Uncle. <laughs> I'm sure your uncle will not regret us in his deliberations concerning our mutual participation in these sexual relations. After all, he is a man. He enjoys the company of women. Well, he pays for the company of women, but my be This is not the time or the place. Come on. I is a man. You was a whole man. I is King Arthur. You was the round table. Here's a teapot shot and stout. Here's my handle and here's my handle. Donovan! What the heck? And now, Mrs. Johnson will say a few words about her late husband. <laughs> I will keep your seat warm for your baby, all right? Another show that because I got so video sir because my video is short so to the next on to the next one indeed hmm um Donovan Mrs Johnson in the garden center ooh garden center oh that's ad oh you can't have my ad oh you can't have my oh there we go. <laughs> Mrs. Johnson. Donovan? You's gonna need a bigger man than that to satisfy your needs, Mrs. Johnson. I didn't know you were interested in gardening. Oh, yes, I've always taken an active interest in the natural world. <laughs> There's nothing I like better than to lie back and watch something grow. Since my husband died, I find I get peace in my garden. Hmm? Well, I'd like to get a peace in your garden, too. <laughs> Let me turn it upside. Let me oh. orders. Let me rummage around in your hedge. Let me direct the unnecessary water fountain. Donovan, please. Oh, hello, Mrs. Johnson. Mrs. White. Good morning. I've seen her garden. It's nothing compared to yours. Oh, you okay. Her bushes are overgrown, and God knows what that is swimming around in her fish pond. Donovan, please. Let me put it another way. You and me is both plowing a lonely furrow. Your fields are still looking for a time. Mm -hmm. My seeds are most definitely ripe. So harness your ass to my plow. It's time for some serious crop rotation. Some phenomenal fertilization. And some heavy duty irrigation. I have a very sophisticated sprinkler system. Are you volunteering to do a spot of work in my garden? Family? It will be both an honor and a prolonged pleasure. Good. We'll start with some deadheading. <laughs> okay. To the last one and then the end of my video. Hmm. Which one's the most funniest? Um, uh, Miss Donovan, Mrs. Johnson, and a travel agent. Mrs. Johnson, <laughs> you know they say travel expands the mind. Well, let me tell you, it expands other things too. I don't have time. I have to arrange the church summer outing before service this evening. Forget the church. Let me uplift you. I'll take you somewhere. You won't need no guidebook. You won't need no street map. You won't need no satellite navigation. Because my compass always points north. <laughs> okay. It's a little weird. I as a pilot with years of experience. Come into my cockpit and mark my flight. Play with my flaps, but go easy with my Honda carriage. 
And then lie back in business class and let me slowly engage my reverse thrust. <laughs> Meeting my sister Esther any minute, and I don't think she will appreciate. Come on. Let's set sail for the land of total satisfaction. Marvel at my hunker. Place my main sail. And if you don't behave yourself, you'll have to walk my plank. Over here, Esther. I will lead you into new worlds. I, Sir Walter Raleigh, you is my golden hand. I, is Alexander Fleming, you is that bacteria he left overnight in the laboratory. <coughs> Who is this man, Root? Donovan, this is my sister Esther. Who is Esther? Don't worry, you know. I can fit two potatoes on my plate. Oh! Here's Jamie Halliburton. Who is my two fat ladies? Here's... Is that what it was? It wasn't much of a trip, but what a fantastic view. The end.